It's interesting after I made that video regarding sage and sage burning and what Jamal Bryant had to say about burning sage. It's now quite interesting that I saw a video where Jamal Bryant on Periscope was suggesting that churches be closed. And if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, he too also canceled services. And he suggested that people watch church from home, either on television or on the internet. So my question went to, where is your faith? It's interesting that many churches have taken in so much money, so many tithes, so many offerings. They've sold so much snake oil or blessed oil, claiming that if you anoint yourself with oil, that you can be healed. There are many preachers that claim to be able to have the power to cast out devils. And they teach about faith and how if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, you can speak to a mountain and tell the mountain to move and it shall move and that nothing by any means shall it be impossible to you. They speak faith messages. But when it comes to the coronavirus, they're buying out hand sanitizer. They're buying out cold medicines. They're buying out toilet paper for whatever reason. The shelves are empty. But another thing, too, that seems to be empty are the churches. And the churches aren't empty because people are buying out their religions. As a matter of fact, it should have an opposite effect and the churches should be full. If you have the power that you claim to have to be able to heal folk, to deliver folk, to cast out demons, shouldn't your churches be full? So now you have people that's willing to spend $10 for a two ounce bottle of hand sanitizer. If you go on the internet, you'd find that many stores are out of hand sanitizer. They're out of certain cold medicines. Because people now are in a desperate state. And so are the so-called people of God. So Jamal Bryan and other preachers are closing their churches. After they're taking in all of this money feeding religion to people. So that leaves a question in my mind. Do people really need religion? This right here should be revealing. The lights are now coming on. And many people are being exposed. They're being exposed for the frauds that they really are. And keep in mind, I'm not speaking against the Bible itself. I'm not speaking against Yeshua. I'm not speaking against the Most High. I'm speaking against these false prophets and teachers and preachers and so-called people of Yah that are quick to condemn you to hell because you say you burn sage or because you choose to do things that are considered a sin or an abomination before the Most High. These are people that do wrong every day in their lives, but yet they're justified. But when it comes to you, you're going to hell. I want to read a portion of scriptures taken from Matthew, the fourth chapter, reading at the 23rd verse, and it reads as follows. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching 
the gospel of the kingdom and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of diseases among the people. I'm going to read that again. And Jesus went about all Galilee teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. In other words, churches weren't closed. He didn't tell people to listen from home. Myself personally, nothing has changed for me. And I mentioned that in a prior video, things are still the same for me. I've never really been a crowd person anyway. And I say the only time that I'm around crowds of people is when I'm at the casino. Because I love playing the slot machines. I still go to the casino. This week alone, I went to two movies. I've been on the military post. If I need to go shopping, I'll go shopping. Things have not changed for me. I have not changed my habits. I have not went and start stockpiling food and hand sanitizers and things of that nature. Things are still the same for me. Why? Because the just shall live by faith and not by sight. Now, if you choose to wait for a serum or some type of vaccine for the coronavirus, if you choose to walk around wearing masks, that's your prerogative. And it's interesting that there are so many people now that have a psychological cold or the psychological flu virus. And I say psychological because they were doing well until the media, with this negative propaganda, start spewing fear into the minds of the citizens. So now you have people that are starting to feel sick. They're starting to feel colds and flus. They're coughing more. Their nose is running. So it sends into them into a mode of panic where they feel now they have to be tested for the coronavirus. This is the type of fear that's being fed to society. But I'm reminded of Yeshua when he walked on the water. And he was in the bottom of the ship, sink, uh, excuse me, I'm reminded of when they were on the ship and the storm arose. And he was in the bottom of the ship sleeping. And the disciples came terrified in fear and woke him up and says master aren't you afraid that we're about to perish and he woke up and said oh ye of little faith and he rebuked the winds and the waves and they obeyed him i'm also reminded of a scripture where Someone came to Yeshua regarding the child and was saying how the child was sick. And Yeshua, the person said to Yeshua, I brought them to your disciples and they could not cast them out. So he said, bring me the child. So he, Ill, he, he healed and delivered that child. And then the question was asked by the disciples, why couldn't we do it? And Yeshua said, because of your unbelief. And then he says, when he cast out a demon, 
that they couldn't cast out. He said, this kind comes but by prayer and by fasting. So what we see happening now with the coronavirus is revealing because it's exposing a lot of fake people. It's exposing a lot of fake preachers and teachers. I don't hear no one talking about Dr. Sebi and how Dr. Sebi is able to heal the coronavirus or better yet, his concoctions, his medication or herbs or what they choose to call it. No one is promoting that. But yet hand sanitizer, cold medicine, Lysol, that stands by their word that this is how you can prevent the coronavirus. Wash your hands. Use hand sanitizer. In the hospitals, they lock the hospitals down. They cancel schools. But they're promoting hand sanitizer. I don't see no one rep uh, promoting religion. I don't see the preacher saying, come and be healed. Come and be delivered. I don't hear the preachers teaching that if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, that you're able to move mountains. So where is your faith? So feedback, tell me what you think. And comment the video. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on the fact that many churches are closing. I want to hear from church folk. The same church folks that's quick to condemn people. Where is your faith? Now, the Bible says that ye are the light of the world. A city that sets on a hill cannot be hid. So if you're the light of the world, why are you turning out the lights and you're running and hiding and trusting and dependent upon science or doctors to make sure that you're well, to make sure that you're cured from the coronavirus? Where the Bible teaches that nothing by any means shall harm you if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe. Until next time. It's tight, but it's right.